There's a lot of different types of guitar strings out there, different manufacturers, different thicknesses and different designs, all of which can be a bit confusing, especially when you're just getting started. I've actually written a full guide on everything you need to know about guitar strings on my website, which I've linked in the description below. To me, the most important thing in a guitar string for a beginner is usability, quality and price. For this reason, I recommend the Ernie Ball Super Slinky Strings. Why? Because they're a great all-rounder that ticks all the boxes. Firstly, they're really easy to use. The Super Slinkies are on the thinner side of the string thicknesses available, which makes them feel much easier to fret and bend. This means that there's less resistance from the strings, which makes playing gentler on your hand, so you can get in some extra hours of practice without tiring your hand as quickly. Secondly, they're great quality. Ernie Ball is a really established brand in the guitar string space. If you do a quick search for guitar strings, you'll see that Ernie Ball pops up towards the top of the list. They've been around for a long time, you can trust what they're putting out. In my experience, the Ernie Ball Super Slinkies are durable, reliable and sound great. With the proper care and attention, these strings can last quite a while before needing to swap them out with a new set. But it's not just me. You'll find Ernie Bull strings on the guitars of many electric guitar icons like Slash, Keith Richards and John Petrucci, to name a few. Finally, these strings are very affordable, costing around $10 or £6 or £7 for a set. This means that if you break a string, it's not going to break the bank to replace it. Breakages from playing are pretty likely when you're just getting started. A combination of improper technique, overzealousness and just excessive playing will do that so it's important to have something that you can afford to replace pretty cheaply. As a tip from my experience, I always recommend having a spare set of strings on hand, so if the worst does happen and you snap a string, you can get straight back to playing without waiting around for a new set to arrive. These are the strings that I used when I first started learning how to play guitar, and now, 15 years later, I still keep at least one of my guitars strung up with Ernie Ball Super Slinkies. For more information and advice on the best guitar strings for beginners, check out my website below.